Hello, may God and the heavens guard your life. Psalm 91 is one of the most powerful psalms contained in the Bible, in the Word of God. It is a psalm that has the power to give you the blessing of protection and also to break many bonds over your life, besides bringing the blessing of protection to your home and your family. Today we will be praying Psalm 91, and you can be sure that after I pray Psalm 91 with you, God will bless you greatly. I would like you to pray this psalm along with me, repeating the words or mentally, so that you may take possession of all the promises contained within this powerful prayer of Psalm 91. Feel free to leave prayer requests in this Psalm 91, especially in this prayer. I would like you to put the names of your family members in the comments because Psalm 91, as I said, is a powerful psalm of victory over the family and our home. Leave the names of your family members in the comments because I will pray and present all of them to God for the glory of God. We are already a great prayer family here on YouTube. I would like you to start by leaving your like your thumbs up because every time you leave your like, you are telling YouTube that what you are seeing and hearing is good for you, that it can pass it on to other people. So it's very important that you leave your like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, there's the subscribe button down below. I would like you to press it so that other powerful prayers can reach your phone through YouTube. Prepare your heart because after this prayer of Psalm 91, you will see God's action, and I have guidance to give you. You can listen to this prayer, repeat this prayer throughout the week. It will be very good for you. If for seven days you can listen to this prayer of Psalm 91, I will pray with you now this powerful psalm of blessing, victory, breaking bonds, and protection. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust, surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the... A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked, if you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways, they will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. My Lord God and my Father, God creator of the heavens and the earth, Jehovah Rapha, God who heals, Jehovah Jireh, God of provision, Jehovah Shalom, God of peace, Jehovah Elohim, the God who is in control of everything. My God, under the prayer of Psalm 91, I come to ask you at this moment that the Lord break all the bonds of this person's life, all the bonds of spiritual life, all the bonds of family life, all the bonds of financial life, all the bonds of health come to be broken. Come to fall to the ground in this moment of prayer. O oh, Almighty God, I ask you send a strong angel, send an angel with a sword toward this person's house. So my God, all the action of the enemy, all the evil action that is, my God, upon this person's house, all the action of the enemy in the form of fights, in the form of fights in marriage, in the form, my God, of curses, my God, in works of tribulations, in works, my God, of addiction, touch now with your power, that this person's house now be covered by your blood, that it may be covered by an anointing of protection, because your word says in Psalm 91, no evil will befall you, no plague will come near your tent. My God, all the curse that is upon this home, may it be broken at this moment of prayer, may it fall to the ground, my God, every work that has been erected against this life, under the power of the prayer of Psalm 91, I declare it broken. My God, every written work, buried, thrown to the wind, or spoken by someone who wants to see evil upon this person, in this moment, I declare it to fall to the ground. My God, all the diseases that have afflicted this life through some evil being, some spirit of illness, as your word says the arrow, my God, that Psalm 91 speaks of illness arrows are broken now by your power, arrows of disease now by the power of the prayer of Psalm 91. I declare they begin to fall to the ground. I declare they retreat. 
I declare, under the blessing of this prayer, that all the diseases of this body begin to disappear. Almighty Father, Psalm 91 says that the Lord would deliver us from snares. So my God, I ask you now, deliver this person from all snares, from all the traps of the enemy. My God, deliver the house, deliver the family, deliver this person, my God, from evil men, from the snare of the bloodthirsty men, deliver this person, my God, from stray bullets, from assaults, from accidents, my father on the road, that when leaving home, and the angels accompany this person on departure and arrival. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare that this person will not stumble. I declare that this person will not fall. I declare the blessing of Almighty God upon this life. Raise your right hand. Raise your right hand, please. I want you to repeat these words with me again. You will repeat with words or you will repeat mentally. Pray with me like this. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra, you will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him, I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him, I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, the power, the honor, and the glory, today, tomorrow, and forever. And you say Amen and say thanks to God. You take possession of this prayer. I'm sure you take possession, and I want to tell you that all the blessings contained in Psalm 91 are now upon you, upon your house, upon your family. I repeat, if you can, if you can, listen to this prayer for seven days. Seven is the number of God. It is the number of perfection. If you can on this channel, you will look for this prayer of Psalm 91 and listen to it for the next seven days. It will be very good. Then you will tell your testimonies here in the comments, which I know will be many. I also ask you to send this prayer to your family, to your friends. How many people now need the great blessings of victory and protection of Psalm 91 upon their lives? Send it to your friends, family. They will all be very blessed. Before we conclude, I would like to ask you to subscribe to the channel, leave your like, and activate the notification bell to receive more content like this. Your participation is very important to us and helps us continue bringing messages of faith and hope. Thank you for being with us and I hope to see you again in our upcoming videos. May God bless you and your family abundantly. See you soon.